Oh, we got a special car today, a 59 Chevy Impala. Those are one of the hottest cars on the market. Very unique car. This one's especially unique. It's a flat top, four-door sports sedan, 53,000 original miles. This is a Survivor, is in storage for 25 years, has a rebuilt 283 four-barrel with factory power steering, power brakes, excellent cruising car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information. That's where you can study all the pictures. And that's also where you'll find the price tag along with the monthly finance payment on every car we have for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next video is posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. And no, I did not plan wearing this shirt today to match this car. Uh, but underneath, it's very original. The floors have never even been spray painted on. It's the original undercoat. I didn't see any signs of rotten metal or patches. Uh, it's all rock solid, good clean floors under there. You look up at the motor, it's nice clean Chevy Orange, because like I said, that was completely rebuilt. Uh, it has the original canister style oil filter that they had back then. Uh, the original Power Glide transmission was also rebuilt at the same time. Uh, the original rear end still has painted on assembly markings on it. Uh, after all these years, they're still there. Uh, the front end's been completely gone through all the bushings, uh, control arm bushings, uh, sway bar bushings. Uh, that's all been replaced. Ball joints were replaced. It does have a dual exhaust system. Uh, I did notice there's one hole in one of the pipes. You don't hear it, but eventually, you know, that will need to be replaced. Uh, but it does sound nice. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. Uh, drum brakes all around, e-brakes hooked up. Uh, that all seems to be working real well. The body, the body's in really nice original condition. Uh, 59, they were really uh, pulling out all the stops with their styling. Uh, very unique front end, uh, 59 only. You got the big grills here right into the hood. This is all absolutely straight. That fits square and flush. No damage on the body here at all. All nice clean metal right down to the bottom. All clean metal. These gaps are right on the money. There's no rust down here. A little bit of bubbling across right here. And there is a spot of rust right here where it's uh, something's popping through the body right there. All lines up real nice. This is the flat top. They also had it where it just came curved down, but this is very unique and desirable. This only hung around for two years and they, you never see it again. But look at this big curved window. Isn't that cool? Back to the body. Clean, straight body. This is all real nice. Now look at these wings. And with the cat's eyes tail lights. Uh, all nice body. Square lines, no rust, no damage. Nice clean body. This quarter panel looks mint. The rocker, the bottom of the doors, all that's nice and clean on this side. All the gaps are real nice. Everything opens and shuts like a new car because low miles. The paint, portions of the paint are still original. Uh, I think it's called Sapphire Blue and the Snowcrest White. Uh, paint is very presentable. There's dust and imperfections. Uh, the hood is really smooth and glossy. There's a, a chip down here. <clears throat> the roof is nice and smooth and glossy. The chrome is original. So you got some pitting on the rockets right here. You know, just regular wear on the trim here, a little dent, some wear on the bumper. All that's original, including the two high beam headlights are the original T3 headlights. Yeah, a little pitting on the rocket. The stainless moldings down the side are real nice. There's a mild dent right here. The wiper arms and the bases are real nice. The trim is real nice. It has bow tie mirrors on both sides are the originals. So there's a little pitting on those as well. Original door handles have some very mild pitting. This one has a little more. There's a little scrape and a dent right here. So it has patina. You're getting a, a survivor type car. 
back window is crystal clear. Same thing with the trim back here. The stainless is nice and straight. Bumper has some wear. Tail lights look real good. Got reverse lights down there. Beautiful two-tone colors. Uh, original rims and hubcaps are in real good shape. It's been updated with some uh, hand-cooked uh, radial tires. Uh, door jams are the original paint. Is all original, original weather strips. So that's the outside, which is pretty cool. You got to admit, let's open it up. We got more to show you inside. All right, let's see what this ginormous trunk has for us. So you can hold about three yards of mulch in here. Okay, this is all the original paint. So you're just gonna, this is not rot. This is just some surface rust in places where the paint is chipped. But that, it's all rock solid does have the original weather strip and the trunk floor. That's all rock solid. There's no patches, no rot at all. Uh, there's an extra hubcap in that box. Those are the original side panels. You can see they're deteriorated. I uh, do have one of the original rims. Got an ugly tire, but does have a tire and a rim and a jack. For me, I'd buy the liner kit and, uh, you know, put that in there and just leave the rest original. I said door jams are original paint. From what I can tell, the door panels have been replaced. They are the correct reproduction door panels. There's an ashtray in the armrest. It's missing on this side. Uh, the seats are reupholstered, has the speckled two-tone carpet, reproduction mats, the seats upholstered, and this just happens on these reproduction seat covers. This chrome trim uh, just comes off. Uh, nothing we can do. You can remove it, I guess, and uh, it might look better or worse. I don't know. It has the chrome piping. More of the same in front. Door panels replaced, carpet. They are very stylish door panels. The dash is all original. And check out the cool gauges. I love that big speedometer in the middle. Uh, and all this metal is original. And the lenses and knobs, all that's uh, original stuff. Original radio. Glove box light works. I had it open a second ago. Here we go. The light works in there. Uh, the ashtray. See how the knob matches? That's the original. Now, these are vintage. It's Stuart Warner. You got oil and uh, water temperature. Seat belts in the front seat. And then the uh, headliner. Excellent shape. Has little stars. I guess when you look up, it's like looking at the sky. The uh, visors match. The interior lights work. So we got this car from a collector. He's owned it uh, since about 2010. Uh, he had the engine uh, rebuilt in dyno tune. It's the original motor. He kept all the original parts, the heads, the manifolds, the Chevrolet valve covers. It is the optional four barrel. So it's a 283, 230 horsepower. The right air cleaner. Still has the shields over the spark plugs. The original choke tube is hooked up. You see the firewalls, the original paint, the original finish on the hinges. It's all very nice, original condition. You got the horns, the shroud, the cap. The generator was rebuilt. And you got original power steering and power brakes, two very desirable options. Uh, wiper motor looks new. Hood insulation's original. I'd say this car has a nice sound. Nice, smooth, and cool. Blow 
my Altar feels differently. It's just a smooth operator. So I forgot to tell the story about the car. It was sold new at Courtesy Chevrolet in Medford, Oregon. Guy bought it for his uh, wife for their 25th anniversary. And uh, she drove the car, not exactly uh, why I quit driving it, but at, at that time the car was put away for 25 years. Uh, and then it was uh, pulled out long-term storage. And like I said, I got it from a collector along with four other cars and he went through it mechanically. Um, so it's a nice driving car. It really felt good the little bit I drove it. Again, these 59 Impalas are, are so cool. Uh, just a neat car. Just pull up to any car show like this. You don't have to have the most expensive car there to get the most attention. This is one of those cars. Go to volocars.com. The salesman will help answer your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your door. They'll help finance it at volocars.com. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell icon so you're notified when we post the next video. Thanks for watching.